your boy King Brando. Today I'm coming at you with another grownish review, and this time it's the episode six cashing out. And oh, I told you, I, I told you, I, I told you, I, I told you, I told y'all. Let me get, let me get in the middle. I told, I told you. I said, I, I, I told y'all. I said, I said, this relationship ain't gonna last. I see it's not gonna last. It's a two to three episode max. Guess what? This was the third episode and they broke up. I told you. I, I told you. I, I told you. I, I told you. I told you. Oh man, uh poor poor Zoe though, yeah. I'm I can't even hide it. I'm glad they broke up. I told y'all, but let's get into this episode review. Episode 6 of Grownish. Cashing out. I told you, I told you. Yeah. Take me to the truth. So, the episode starts off with Zoe uh, doing this whole little monologue, whole little spiel about her being in love with Cash. And, you know, it kind of moved my heart a little bit because I'm like, you know what? They are really, like, bigging up their relationship. It's going to hurt y'all. It's going to hurt y'all. And I put on Twitter, y'all know I put on Twitter that, like, it's it, they really bigging this up and it's really going to hurt y'all when they break up because it happened. It happened. But we're going to get to that one because, whew. I just, it was just perfect. I told you, I told you, I told you. But it opens up with her doing that and saying that, like, you know, he makes her feel warm and makes her feel like, you know, nothing that she's ever felt before. She feels like she's in love. And, you know, not even like the first, like, it's different, though, different from the first time you that, you know, she held a baby brother, Devante. The first time, you know, that she had them tacos, you know, and then she loved the tacos. And then it goes into him, like, you know, saying, like, I got some for you. It's the tacos. I like that one. That was clever. I'm like, dang, man. You on borrow time. Too bad. <laughs> then it went into, you know, Zoe ignoring Nomi and her mama's calls. I'm like, you know, you should have picked up. It's your mama. You in college. You're not with her. So, I mean, but at the same time, you know, you in college. You're not with her. So, you don't have to pick up. So, at the same time, I'm like, you know, you do you. You do you, baby. You do you, baby. You can ignore her. But Nomi, you know, that that's... I feel like she's her best friend in this, um, in this uh, show. I really do, because it's like she's the one that, you know, she goes to and all that. Anna's comedic relief in this episode is just... <sighs> Y'all know how I said I love Charlie on Blackish? She she feels that role. She feels that role, because her comedic relief is just... Uh, like her innocence and her just... It just... Uh, it's really funny. It's, it's, it's comical. I love it. But yeah, she's ignoring all their calls. You know, Zoe's in love and all that. That was why she ignored their calls and all that. Because Cash was texting her. He was like, I love you and all this stuff. And she was like, sending him kissy faces. I'm like, dude, this this ain't going to last long. It's, it's really not. Um, oh, yeah. Then it goes into Zoe and Anna with her comedic relief again. But, you know, it's like... She got Zoe to admit that. <laughs> he took it. He took the car from her. He took the V car from her. They had coitus. <sighs> they had coitus. She got her to admit that and that, you know. And then she's like, you know, you're going you gonna to start going boy crazy over him and all. And she's like, you know, no, I'm not. But, you know, he asked me to, you know be with him, you know, like, you hear me, like, like, they actually together, uh, no, actually, he didn't even ask her to be with him until the interview, we gonna get to that one, I'm tweaking, I'm messing up, but yeah, she, like, admitted that and all that, and she was like, you gonna go boy crazy, she like, no, I'm not, you know, if she not gonna be, like, one of those girls, and she kinda, she, she kinda was one of those girls, um, to me, at least, in this episode, but then it goes into, you know, I don't know if this is like a diner, a bar, or a, a, a pub, or whatever that they go into at school on campus, but it goes into, you know, um, uh, Skylar, Jaslyn, Vivek, and Aaron, and where was Luke in this episode? Like, Luke had been ghosting on y'all, like, he had one scene the past three episodes, when the first three episodes, 
He was like one of the main characters. He was a part of the main little love triangle. Like y'all trying to, like, like you know, I don't want a love triangle at all with her. You know, I just want her to be celibate and like not have no type of emotions and all that. Like be like a little, like, like, like just somebody who just not like, you know, chill out real quick until, you know, I come and, you know, I, I could be on that show too, you feel me? Because I can act too. But, um, yeah, no Vivek this, I mean, I'm, I'm saying no Vivek. No Luca this episode again. Um, Aaron was in it though. He had like, mm, played a little bit role, a little role. Uh, but he convinced the twins, him and Vivek. Vivek was trying to get them to push um, keys and, and swallow keys and balloons and all that to make money. But they needed money because they was broke in college, on campus, and they had stopped. They had track stop, but they scholarships only covers like room board and tuition and all that and like gear. So Aaron's like, you know, you gotta find your thing. And I guess they found it. Now they 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 shop school gear now. Like that's the that's the new drug. It's like narcos part two, man. I'm like, dang. But I don't think Aaron really knew it was gonna turn into like, you know, something that wasn't ethically good or was illegal, but you know, hey. They're struggling. They gotta make a way out of no way. I figure that's how they gonna do it. And then it goes into Cash's interview, where you know he's with Carrie Champion. I love, I loved her on first take. But he's with Carrie Champion, and he's like, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know whatever I do, I'm gonna do it with Zoe Johnson, cause I love her. That's my baby. All that other type of mushy stuff. Kind of caught her off guard. It did catch her off guard. She tried to go Alicia Keys. Went the right time for her, you know, according to her. But he's saying, like, basically he's a lover. He wants her to be a part of his life forever. When he get drafted, if anything happened, he won't hurt in his corner. Because that's his baby, that's his boo, whatever, whatever. All that mushy stuff. Oh, God, this was just... Oh. I love this episode because, like, they just big it up. And I'm like, you know what? It's going down. It's about to go down. But we gotta check back on the twins. The twins are shopping school gear. Yeah, they moving keys, bro. They well, they moving tees, bro. And um, Aaron's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta double XL, bro. You do not wear a double XL. I know you do not wear a double XL, bro. I don't even wear an XL, and I'm six one. I'm six two. I mean, I don't even wear a double XL, bro. And you're not even taller than me, I don't think. But like, my dude, you, you, you supposed to be like the Black Panther. You supposed to tell them, you know, you gotta do right by the system. Um. And then it goes into like the twins, you know, doing their thing, making their money. Then it goes into Zoe. Uh, she's like trying to get advice from Vivek. And then um, uh, Anna and um, Nomi. But Nomi ain't having that. Vivek and Anna, they like, you know, you they, they kind of bigging up. Like, you know, dang, y'all really going to go far. She's going to be like Aisha Curry and all that stuff. Um, and then she kind of not feeling it, but she feeling it. But Nomi, she's just like, uh-uh. Cause you, cause she left her high and dry, and I'm like, you know what? I agree with you, Nomi. You, 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 you deserve to treat her. You treat her, and she treated her. She roasted her. She roasted you, baby. She roasted you, Zoe. I'm sorry. I'm calling her baby and all that, but you know that's a special spot in my heart for her. Yeah, Vivek. Um, I, I. I I, I'm right with you, bro. I didn't know what it was until like I had to figure out the context clues and what was going on. Cause I, I was thinking like what, and then I had to think. I'm like, you know, I. I but you you kind of walk right into that thing. I get what you was trying to do. You thought it was just like a regular person, but it means something else. It means something else. Then it goes into Zoe. You got got. She got got by her mama, Rainbow Johnson. Bo, the beautiful Tracy Ellis Ross. She got a, um, so y'all, you, you know how I told you she was ignoring the calls? She popped up at the school. Rainbow Johnson popped up at the school to, you know, uh, it was because she didn't return any of her calls and all that stuff, but really because of what Cash said. Because Cash asked her to be with him, you know. It, it, to me, that, that sounded like a proposal, too. Like, you know, I want you to be with me when I make it. Like, that. that's, 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 I feel like that's the... That's to him. That's probably the biggest thing he ever could have said to anybody. That was that was the equivalent to a marriage proposal to him because that's like he going to, according to them he going number one, and so if he want to be with you like that, that means he really love you. That's that was part of the thing where I'm like you know, dang man, he 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 did it right for the most part. He he really ain't do nothing wrong, but it's just you know. He, Pick wrong girl, bro. Pick my girl. But Rainbow Johnson got it. So Rainbow's like, you know, 
I had high hopes for you. And Zoe's like, you did? And she's like, you know I didn't. That was the funniest part of the episode. Other than the breakup, we gonna get to the breakup, but that was the funniest part of the episode. I'm like, what? That's your own daughter. You supposed to lie at that point. But Honest Hour was just getting ready to start. And then she's like, Rainbow's like, you know, I set a good example for, well, I tried to set a good example for you. I tried to be, you know, because I'm a doctor and all that. That's why I take on my doctor all the time. She tried to be that person that, you know, Zoe could look up to and all that stuff. And, like, she's basically saying you're throwing your whole life away for a dude. And, like, that's not smart. You got to follow your own dreams. You got to do what you want to do. Don't you have plans? Don't you want to do all of this stuff with fashion and all that? And then Zoe's like, you know, I can do that with him. She can travel with him. She can go to online classes and all that. And then Bo was not having it. She talking about online class. It's for people who want to join the militia. I'm like, what? Who thinks of this? Kenya Barris, you are a genius. But, um, yeah. And then Zoe's like, you know, I can do all these things to be with him, too, while I'm uh getting my education and all that stuff like she's still gonna be with him while he's in the league and all that stuff sorry for that long pause uh i was trying to figure out you know what exact way i wanted to say it but um she was trying to figure out you know she was trying to tell her she was trying to tell her mama like i can do this and you know travel with him and be with him and all that stuff and i'm like you know you're making a good point but at the same time she your mama she know best she know what you need she she got you she know how you're gonna feel and rainbow made a lot of sense too she's like you know you you want to do a lot of stuff and you stopping college for right now when he gets drafted it's not gonna work out best for both of y'all actually um which we gonna get to that in a minute um and yeah, but Zoe's like, you know, I can be, do, she wants to do like Vogue and all that stuff. She can do that, um, like, with him on the road and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know, I get both sides. So then it goes into her and Cash. Uh, they were laying in the bed together. Uh, but they were. And Cash is like, you know, I got to go because, you know, I got a game and all that in Arizona. And she's like, you know, you could fake like you're sick. So the way, you know, she can nurse you back to health. I'm like, man, if y'all get these cheesy lines out of here, boy. It's, it's, it was me hating. It was me hating. But, uh, yeah, this is when stuff really started to go down. This. Whew, this is why I love this episode. So, basically, long story short, they, they, they kind of get into an argument. Because Cash is like, you know... My coaches have been on me, and you should, y'all should have known. Once he said my coaches have been on me, this relationship was over because that's what happened. It was over. His coaches had it. To me, I think they said it best. You have to focus on your career. You have to focus on getting in the league right now because that's where you want to be. That's where you want to go. So what you wanted to do all your life, you know, you've been working so hard, and it made like your plan was maybe to you know go to college and all that stuff. As as all a plan should be, you know. Uh, you want to have that, that NBA site. You want to have that in your mind and all that. But your goal as in college is to be, you know, to get an education from, you know, your talents and stuff. And if the NBA come, it come. But if it don't, you know, you got a good education and all that. And you saying, like, that was that was my plan at first. Uh, but since the NBA is looking certain for me, you know, they want me to focus on that and focus on, you know, pounding, pound, pounding the glass, pounding all that, uh, doing the basketball stuff. And then she's kind of like, you know, I get her point too, because she's like, I, I might as well give it up. She loves him. She was in love with him. Um, and she's like, you know, what about me? What about how I feel? And, and uh, I want to go with you too, as long as it's not in Utah. And I'm like, ooh, y'all just sent shots at a whole state, at a whole state, man. And then he's like, uh, you playing right? And she was like, yeah, uh, not really. And he's like, you know, I can't control what I do. I can't control the path that this takes me and where I go from here because it's not up to me and she's like you know I know and then he gets to this whole thing where it's like basically he wants to he wants he didn't want to break up with her actually but he wants to end it because he he doesn't know what's gonna happen and he doesn't know what their future entails for them and he said it perfectly he said if I would have if it was a year later and I knew what I was doing this would be the perfect time so basically that relationship just fell on bad timing and you know I get that but still, you know, you ain't with her no more. You ain't with her no more. But, um, yeah, so they basically broke up. And she's like, you know, get out and all that stuff. And he's like, he didn't want to end it on a bad note. He didn't even want to break up with her to me. He didn't want to do that. But he had to. It was best for both of them. And now Zoe can focus on 
her fashion stuff or whatever, and he can go to the league and all that. Um, and yeah, the episode basically ended with them breaking up, her crying and all that, and Nomi. Like, for real, you never cease to amaze me, G. Like, she she went in there to find Anna. Anna went there. She grabbed what she needed, and she's like, you know, I don't want to be an a-hole, so I'm just going to, you know, console you right now. And that was dope. That was funny. That was that was, that was really funny. Um, but, yeah, they back cool and all that stuff. And, yeah, that's how the episode ended. That was episode six of Growing and Cashing Out, man. Um, yeah, it's been your boy, King Brando. Make sure if y'all want to support me, the only thing y'all got to do is press that like button, press that subscribe button, and press that notifications button. It's called the three clicks if you want to support me. That's what we do on this channel. You can join the Brando fam. We live tweet every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, because that's when Gronish comes on. Um, and yeah, it's been your boy, King Brando. I love this episode. This was one of my best, one of my favorite episodes out of the six that came out. I loved it. It was great. Um, and yeah. They broke up. I told y'all. I told y'all. And no Luca this episode, man. What 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 Luca at? And no, and not a lot of scenes with Aaron too, man. I miss their dynamic duo. You know, I miss the chemistry. Uh, but yes, yeah, being boy King Brando, make sure y'all leave a like, comment. You know, your little theories on who Zoe gonna be with next. Comment your little theories on what's going, what you think is gonna happen next, and all that. How she gonna get over the breakup? And you know, just basically how she gonna regroup from this. Um, it's being boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.